The bill, as amended, is passed. The bill was finally passed in a process tagged a vote-a-rama. It was the longest Senate vote in recent memory, approval coming more than 24 hours after the roll of members was called. This bill will deliver more help to more people than anything the federal government has done in decades. We could have worked together to speed up victory, but our Democratic colleagues made a decision. Their top priority wasn't pandemic relief, it was their Washington wish, wish list. The whole process began as it would largely continue with a deciding vote by the Vice President Kamala Harris to accept the bill for debate, breaking a 50-50 deadlock along party lines. The first major delay was among Democrats, with Senator Joe Manchin holding out for more than 10 hours before reaching a compromise with President Biden on unemployment payments. I ask At Republican insistence, the whole bill was read out in the chamber, a highly unusual measure that in itself took some 11 hours. Then came dozens of amendments introduced by Republicans. The vice president's vote not needed for many, as a Republican senator from Alaska had to return home for a family funeral. Uh, not agreed to. The amendments were rejected by 50 votes to 49. Unfortunately, my friends on the other side have used delaying tactics after delaying tactics, obstruction, obstruction, obstruction. Some senators raising pet issues as part of the obstruction. Should taxpayer money be sent $1,400 to every illegal alien in America? Provoking a heated response. The statement of the senator from Texas is just plain false. False. Let me be clear. The bill will go back to the House for approval, and President Biden is likely to get his victory. When I was elected, I said we were going to get the government out of the business of battling on Twitter and back in the business of delivering for the American people, of making a difference in their lives, giving everyone a chance, a fighting chance. But made very clear is that any legislative process depends on a razor-thin majority, one that could be threatened should any single Democratic senator go against the party line. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.